Detective, it looks as though I might be out here all weekend. What can I do for you? Is that what he said? <laughs> I can barely understand most of what he says with that accent. I find his accent rather pleasant, reassuring. I guess. Not too helpful when it comes to finding your room, though. You'll probably be the lucky one that has that hideous plant outside the door. I shall take up no more of your time. A bientôt. Please, ask away, detective. Angeline has spoken of it. You made quite the impression on her, detective. I feel responsible for what came from that day. Florette's dismissal and Luke's. It is not your fault. Madame Vandenbosch does not like it when her rules or authority are undermined. I try to explain to Angeline the same, but her guilt has not left her. I suppose you think I was unwise to pay it? I am glad Mademoiselle requested my help before you fell further out of pocket. Madame Vandenbosch had no intentions of paying it. Whether she believes there is a secret that could ruin the family or not. It was an honorable move for you to make the payment. It was certainly no small fee. Angeline is to be my wife and then we shall be family. As far as I am concerned, my money is our money. Merci, monsieur. I shall leave you to prepare for tonight's celebrations.
I must take a different approach if I am to uncover the truth. Things are beginning to become clearer. thought and fact, not on impulse. I cannot see the logic in this. Another success. I never doubted myself. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. Come, my little grey cells. We must think logically. something order and method that this will not get me any closer to my the pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together I must take a different approach if I... Magnifique! Come, my little grey cells. We must think logically. something I... I cannot see the logic in this. Perhaps a second look at the evidence in front of me. act on thought and fact. Mm. 
order and method that this will not get me any close I cannot see the logic in this perhaps a Grey cells. We must think. This will not get me any closer. That I must act on thought and fact, not on impulse. What a revelation! Elizabeth, thank you for coming. I shall not take up too much more of your precious time. Not at all, Detective. I had best not be away for too long. Madame would not be pleased when there is so much work to do. Well, Mademoiselle, if anyone was to ask, I required your urgent attention with a delicate matter. Uh, that should be enough to give you a moment's peace. <laughs> thank you, Detective. I have heard whispers, but this town is full of busybodies. It's hard to know what is the truth and what is hot air from socialites trying to outdo one another. I would not have thought you want to join in with such chatter. I'm not, but it can be hard to ignore. I try to quash any talk of it in the house. But it's easier said than done. When the staff are together, it seems to be a competition to see who can dream up the most scandalous rumour. You are a loyal maid and friend. Mademoiselle Angeline is fortunate to have you. It baffles me why they would target her in the first place. She has such a kind and pure soul. 
That may not be what you remember of Mademoiselle, but she has grown into a kind-hearted young lady. I was wary of that when I arrived, but I myself can see a change in her, a, a maturity. And if it is as kind and pure as you have stated, she should not be troubled by the letter. Letters, Detective. I brought you the other. tried to tell her not to think any more on them, but she fears that even a fabricated story could ruin the family name. She even frets at what it may do to her engagement. I have met Monsieur Demir, and I cannot see his love for Angeline diminishing at something so trivial. Merci for bringing this letter to me. Merci, mademoiselle. Pleasure is mine, detective. something I am not seeing. Some would say a lucky guess. I would say a moment of genius.
Of course, Detective. What is it? She will no doubt be with Master Gedeon. The party was just beginning when I came upstairs. That is my cue to make a grand entrance. Am I presentable enough for the creme of society? Quite handsome, Detective. Merci. If you catch me snoring, please poke me in the ribs. I will use Madame's sharpest poker. It sounds as though someone else may have already been poked. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you would be so kind, to return to the party. With all this excitement out here... I believe that is an end to the excitement, as you put it, Monsieur Demir. Oh, thank God. One last match. Uh, bonjour, Monsieur Hagen. I wondered when you would be arriving. At least now you can do your job. Uh, pardon, Monsieur. I have just been assaulted! I want him arrested! I am afraid it is not as simple as that. I merely witnessed you standing up from the ground. This is ridiculous. You know very well what he did. Uh, perhaps you could elaborate on what instigated the altercation. I should have known you wouldn't make things easy. I have met Monsieur Demir. He does not seem one to physically assault someone unless provoked. I hope you're not implying that I started it. I am only stating what I have seen. I was having a private conversation with Angeline. When he interrupted and struck me, that is all there is to know. I would not act any other way. Well, unless I am provoked. You have grown rather close with the Vandenbosch family, it seems. What has my relationship with the family got to do with anything? Why are you even here, officer? Detective. And I was invited by Mademoiselle Angeline personally. Seems to be mistake after mistake with that girl. Of course I do. What a stupid question. He is scum. Him and his whole family. If I had my way, he wouldn't have even stepped foot in this house.
Officer Poirot. Are you going to do something about him or not? It is Detective Poirot. And if you refuse to answer my questions, I do not see how I can continue. I just don't know what she sees in him. Angeline could do so much better. I don't think she realizes what she is getting herself into. I can't imagine her living a happy life with that... rogue. I see. Merci, monsieur, for your honest opinion, whether I agree or not. I shall leave you to your cigar and return to the party. Thank you.